Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today we will be checking out a new Collins watch, the Collins Sonar. Uh, Collins is a brand founded by Jimmy Collins, uh, and as I discussed in other videos, Jimmy literally went to school in my backyard, uh, and as I recently found out, one of my new running routes through my neighborhood apparently has passed where he grew up. So, uh, truly a Long Island native. So, I, let me do my own wrist check first, because it actually kind of has something to do with it. So, I went with my Swatch uh, Body Irony and Soul. Uh, this is the, you know, kind of like the, the mechanical see-through watch that really got me into the whole mechanical watch thing. I'm wearing my authentic engineer shirt. Uh, and then just for a future advertisement, uh, the ISL 04, which is a variant of this, is uh, coming back in uh, very soon. Uh, so Sonar, Sonar, such a cool name for a dive watch. Uh, sonar is sound navigation and ranging, which I know nothing about, uh, but I do know a lot about radar, radio detection and ranging or evading radar is in my old aerospace job, I did a lot of stuff with radar. Uh, so what a cool name for a dive watch. I thought it was kind of engineery, which is why I kind of engineered myself up. Uh, sonar, you, you send out a sound pulse, it bounces off of something, comes back, and you can tell how far it is, which direction it's going, uh, you know, what kind of signature it is, maybe identify what kind of vehicle it is. Uh, you know, kind of like radar for water, uh, just at a, I'll be at a much lower frequency. Uh, the funny quick story behind these watches is, I've had these watches since about the end of March. Uh, Jimmy stopped by, he dropped them off, and I remember it was when this whole thing was exploding, this whole pandemic, and he, <laughs> he comes out with the box, and we kind of look at each other like, am I supposed to walk up to you and take it? Uh, you know, social distancing, they're saying, they're saying we shouldn't be together, you know, people shouldn't mix families or whatever. Uh, so it's kind of ironic. So they've actually been sitting here for quite a while, uh, waiting for things to kind of, you know, free up. And proudly today, I can launch the Sonar. I'm going to show you six of them. All the same watch, uh, different colors, and little different uh, details and stuff to them. Let us check them out. So here we go. I have six Collins watches to show you. I can't even get six in the frame. There you go. Uh, six to show you. Uh, they're all the sonar. They're all kind of the same material, finishes, size, etc. Obviously, just different executions. Uh, I'll go over one in detail, and then we'll go over the rest. Um, I guess something I should have mentioned in the opening that I did not. These are all Swiss movement powered uh, SW200, which is a uh, Swiss movement 26 joule hand winding hacking automatic movement that was kind of meant to take the place of the Edit 2024 back when the Swatch Group announced that they were. Not going to let people outside the Swatch Group get their movements. And then they kind of went back on their decision because business hit the, you know, took a dive. Uh, and now again, I hear the same thing is going to happen again. So anyway, Salita SW200 on all of them. But something else I did not mention. They are all under 40 millimeters, 39 and a half millimeters in diameter, but they're under 40. Which one should I pick up? Um, maybe the blue one? I don't know. I guess we'll do the blue one. Uh, and not because I love blue. I do. I. Oh, yeah. It's because I love blue. So let's, um, let's get on with the show. So this is the blue dial. Collins Sonar. It's a beautiful blue. It's very deep. Not sunburst. It is a matte. They're all, I'm pretty sure, right? They're all matte dials. So I'm not going to throw uh, sunburst lighting on you. I will bump up the exposure just a tiny bit. And if it looks like the fill on the numbers is blue, I'm pretty sure that's because it is. I'm, I was looking at them side by side, you know, here, clearly. The fill on the numbers on the aluminum bezel is blue. That's awesome. I've never really seen anybody do that. I think it's a pretty cool touch. Okay, so let's go. 39 and a half millimeters in diameter. 12 thick to a slightly raised, okay, slightly raised, flat sapphire crystal. Uh, it is, uh, well, lug tip to lug tip is 47 and a half, so quite comfortable. Look how nicely they bend down. 20 millimeter lug. It's a nice bracelet that uh, tapers down to 18 at the clasp. I'm going to come back a bit. Uh, it does have a wonderful... 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel 
coin edge or maybe a little bit grosser than coin edge maybe not as tight as a coin edge bezel uh, but certainly great action on it, it rotates extremely extremely well uh, there we go back to zero aluminum inlay uh, on the bezel uh, even the um, the ones that look like they're ceramic, those are aluminum inlays as well. I'm 90% sure if I have to make an, a, a correction, I'll, I'll put it in, in post. But uh, aluminum inlay is 300 meters water resistant. And pricing, we are going to be selling these at around 650 bucks. Uh, which for a Swiss made, a Swiss made, Swiss movement watch that is ready, assembled, tuned, and tested in the USA. I think it's right on target for price. You will notice there is no date on the dial. Uh, so why don't we, well, it's not running. So let's, let's wind her up and get her going. And so this is the SW200. It hand winds, it hacks, okay? It, because, it does, because it is a movement with date, uh, there still are three positions to the crown, you know, in winding, date, and time set. So here's time set. Um, Screw down and turn for your full 300 meters of water resistance. For loom, we've got BGW9 on the markers, the hand. You'll see when I turn off the lights, uh, this one glows. They all glow really, really well. And because it's BGW9, that is a little bit white in the daylight, whiter than C3. Uh, but it glows more bluish than green, which is super cool. Uh, you know me. Love the blue. So, bracelet solid link bracelet and we of course have screws a three position micro adjust sign clasp and just to get it over with i will show you that the clasp is pressed uh i know people will hone in on this like 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 flies to whatever <laughs> uh, so but yes it is a pressed clasp flip lock solid end link bracelet matches the watch very well it comes right in there and squeezes up to the case looks terrific why don't we just do a little bit a little close up on the dial you see a vertical vertical edging after the dial a little bit reflective a little bit not you see that look how nice that looks huh beautiful silver hands applied indices markers whatever you want to call them and the name Sonar. So this was the blue dial. Oh, before we go to the next one, the crowns uh, are emblazoned with the Collins C. If you remember the Bronson, which was one of the prior models, uh, had a little, um, I think it was a little amp triangle on it to show it was like, like a volume knob. So that was pretty cool. But now they've gone with the Collins C. So next, after the blue, we have the orange, which is not, okay, so it's not a bright light in your face orange it is a little bit muted again it is flat uh, meaning matte uh, so it's not going to shine back at you which is great for the flat sapphire crystal it really helps everything kind of disappear if the lights aren't hitting it direct okay this has again an aluminum inlay with uh, now we're black filled numbers which i think is a great idea orange filled numbers probably would have looked a little bit silly here okay and then i want to hold it with the yellow next to it because the yellow actually has orangish qualities to it. Uh, so I don't just want to say bright yellow. Again, a muted kind of yellow, but a beautiful yellow. And you can tell the dial work and everything, the coloring of it is done extremely well because even with silver hands, okay, it's still a very legible watch. If they look black, it's because of you're getting reflections into the camera. If I go like this, reflected against the white um, photo area, you definitely see the hands are indeed silver uh, so let's do the last aluminum colored bezel guy and this is the green dial uh, again a muted green um, not as deep as an olive drab but not a vibrant green another really cool color the um, inlay here is black again in the bezel I'm sorry it's not running yes they were sitting in the box as I mentioned I've been sitting in the box for uh, quite a while. Oh, I didn't go over the case back. They all have the same case back. So let's check out the case back because, man, no detail left unturned. The case back is awesome. First of all, look at the texturing on the case back. Look at the, the aggressive toothing, if you will. Uh, there's no tool is going to slip out of those at all. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. So you see sonar 
I guess that's a serial number, assembled in the USA, 300 meters Swiss movement, or Swiss automatic movement, and the Collins Watch Company, and a cool little etching in the middle. Uh, I'm guessing, again, knowing what I know about radar, that is a like a sonar display. You check your range and everything, and different targets will appear in and out of the range. Green. Next up, black. So now we go to, um, again, still silver, silver hands. Um, very legible, though, on the black dial. It's a, a big complaint with me on a lot of watches is that sil oh, it's not running. I'm sorry. Again, they've all been sitting. Uh, silver usually blends in with black dials or reflections kind of kill it and, and, and they disappear. Uh, I would say here, let me get that crown in. I would say that here uh, they did an excellent job. And it looks great. So it's a black dial, a black uh, aluminum inlay bezel. Um, I can't let it mention this. So the Salita SW200 is regulated uh, in six positions. It's pretty impressive. So there's real watchmaking going on here. It's not just a stock Salita slapped into a case and, and, and off to the races. No, we are having them regulated by watchmakers. We, not, not Island Watch, we Collins. Uh, no, I'm not invested in the company. Uh, regulated to six positions b before they ship out the watch. So bravo to them for going uh, the extra mile. And then probably the knockout, the sellout. Not sell, sell it's a bad term, right? The knockout would be the white dial. Um, is it fully loomed? I don't know. We'll have to wait till we turn the lights out. No, I actually already checked, so you'll see in a minute uh, what she looks like when the lights go out. Uh, so what I'm going to do then for for nighttime light time, we'll just take these two and we'll put them together because uh, the black and oh, you know what? Let me just so I guess we'll do three. So I lied. We'll do three together because that will help us look at the bezel stuff and we can see what's loomed and what's not loomed. Okay, so let's start with, this is the orange dial, which will be the same as your um, blue, green, orange, and yellow dials, all the same. Uh, BGW9, very green, glows very well. Um, did I say very green? It's very blue. I'm sorry. It's BGW9, glows blue, dot on the rotating bezel. Great. Second hand running. Everything looks terrific. Very simple to read. Triangle on 12, so I know where 12 o'clock is. Next one up, black dial. So the rotating bezel is filled with loom. Again, BGW9. The rest of it's the same. Very simple and easy to read. So now that white dial. So uh, like the full loom Islander, commercial, uh, Jimmy has gone negative on the hands. Uh, what a great idea, Jimmy. Uh, we did not talk about this at all. So it's kind of really cool that he did the <laughs> same thing that I did. Uh, loom bezel and negative hands and the dial fully glows again bgw9 so um look at see where the where the minute hand was right here isn't that cool because that is a shadow now because of the light when i charged it anyway um bgw9 does not glow as bright as c3 again but still man that is simple to read so i will roll out with a wristy 39 and a half millimeters obviously gonna be very gonna fit very well we're looking at 47 and a half millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip quite comfortable any way you slice it and dice it. What a great fit for a watch. Uh, so many people clamoring. Um, you know, I'm doing the Islander Divers in 43s and 38s. I can't believe how many people are asking for a 40. This is your 40 right here. So that'll wrap it up. You know, I'm, I'm often people have said that my company is an incubator for micro brands because I kind of started out with selling micro brands, moved on to bigger brands, but I never lost the roots of you know where great watches come from great watches come from entrepreneurs who are really looking to make a difference and again another standout here from another long islander this is it so now i carry three brands from the minds of long islanders uh the, the collins the hamel and of course the islander again a little commercial there uh but anyway has been marked from longislandwatch.com showing you the collins sonar Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.